should be able to hear me. What's going on, everybody? It's John from the Gamer here. Welcome you back to another episode of Song Long. Hopefully, everybody is having a good time on this wonderful Tuesday day. Um, Tuesday day. Yes, okay. Anyway, there's a couple of announcements that I have to make. Number one, um, we might as well make these announcements while I get my fishing encounter in the city because I haven't done it. Number one, the date for you guys to kill a Pokemon is moved up from Sunday to this next episode on Friday, episode 29. Because we are going to be doing a marathon of this. So you're going to get one every day for the spring break week. Yeah. Um, next week, the 31st through, or the 31st, uh, the 28th through the 4th. Oh my god, that's an encounter. Um, so yeah, so you guys get to kill, and also I just announced the other thing, which is that you're gonna get a video every day for the month, or for, not for the month, oh my god, if it was the whole month, that would be scary, um, for the week of spring break. Anyway, our encounter here is going to be a Kingdra, which is really, really good, considering you're all about to kill a month. So, <laughs> that ended up being, like, the most perfectly timed Kingdra. Um, <laughs> I don't even know who to go into. What level is this Kingdra? Level 10. Ooh, it's actually pretty high leveled. I don't know. Um, best bet I think is Tarant, sadly, and Tarant's probably gonna kill it. But whatever. I it's Tarant has just been a big hindrance when it comes to catching Pokemon, but we kind of have to deal with it. <laughs> it's the unfortunate reality that we have to just deal with the fact that it, oh, actually, we didn't do that. Didn't do that much damage at all, and Tarant doesn't tank that as well as I thought it would either. Okay. This is the best that we can do. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be the best that I feel like we can do. Eight damage is what Dragon Breath does <sighs> on a consistent, so that's good to know. Twister does a lot as well. Do we have any healing items? I don't think we have much because we used to, yeah, we used literally like 90% of them on freaking uh, stupid Hitmonchan last episode if you guys didn't check it out. Uh, but this is something I'd actually be okay with using the park ball on if I have to do last resort the last resort park ball because Kingdra is actually a really good Pokemon um, Having the moves that it does I like as well But we know that at least a potion lets us survive three hits as long as there is no crits involved um, But please Kingdra we want you on the team and then we're gonna get another encounter as well And while we're at Violet City, we can buy more pokeballs if we need to um, for other things and yeah. Oh, what does Hydro Pump do? This is the thing I'm scared of. I think this might do 11. Oh, that is 13. Yikes. So a crit actually... Oh, no. Okay. I don't know if we're going to be able to catch this either. This is the one thing about this Johto playthrough so far is that things are just not looking uh, in the positive direction. Like, we're not able to catch anything, so you guys are gonna, your guys' kill actually matters so much more when I can't really do anything on the killing front, or on the catching front, because, like, again, I mean, that's the point of the kill function, but, yeah, um, this, it makes it a lot more nerve-wracking, to say the least, and we gotta hope that we can catch this thing, because... Kingdra literally is the completion of a Firewater Grass Corp, which I think will make you guys think a lot more about who to kill. Because if I just have an open Firewater Grass Corp for 10 episodes, that's the end of... Wow, we got it. Let's go! <laughs> Kingdra's like, oh, I'm gonna be a part of a core? Oh my god! Uh, I'm gonna be in the spotlight? I gotta name you... I gotta name you... Oh, you're a male. <laughs> Never mind, I can't name you what I was gonna name you. Uh, I'm gonna name you... Who's somebody who likes to be in the spotlight if they can? Um, I don't... Oh. Um... Uh... Oh, no, 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 I got it. Literally the sassiest person in the spotlight. <laughs> ah, I don't want to put that. No. Um. There. <laughs> oh my god. It's going to get killed now for its name. But he literally is a spotlight guru. If he can be in the spotlight, 
he's going to be in the spotlight, which is kind of an annoying thing, but also it is who he is. Is he just loves if he wants if he, he just wants to be in the center of attention, which I mean most quarterbacks do. Um, not don't get me wrong, but uh, yeah. So Tom Brady, the king drop, you know, so excited to play. Do we even play the Buccaneers next year? I actually don't think we do. We play the AFC. We, we get to play. Okay. So, all, we get to, I get to play all of my friends' favorite teams next year. Literally not joking. Uh, well, I guess technically I'm lying because Beagers um, is favorite team. I don't We don't play this year. But we play Joy's favorite team. We play Aaron's favorite team. We play Naruto's favorite team. It makes me mildly upset that, like, Daddy the Machamp was the rare encounter or the second encounter for the day. And at night, it was Hitmonchan. It just kind of makes me a little bit upset. Um, but, yeah. So, we get to play a lot of my best friend's teams next season. And I really can't wait to kind of see how that goes because of the simple fact that Hey, it's we're playing a team and we get to just have fun bantering because and I think this year really in the sports world is going to be um, it's going to be fun because again, I get to actually like I cuz I'm not the, I'm not one for talking smack. I just don't do it. It's not my go-to when it goes to, when it comes to play or uh, games. I'm one of those people who are like a hyper criticizer, not gonna lie. I freak out about every little freaking detail. Like, again, Ryan and I were talking about this perfectionist attitude, and I'm like, yep, yeah, yep, that, that fits me to a team. Because when it comes to something I love and I care about, I have a tendency to be like, oh my god, it has to be perfect. And if it's not perfect, I freak out. And then if it's not on time, I freak out. And it's like this conundrum of, oh my god, if it's not on time, it's not good. But if it's also not perfect, it's not good. So something that we're going to focus on, um, hopefully Ryan takes this journey with me, I believe he will, um, is the 85% rule. We buffed it up from... It, it, the, the rules technically is 70% rule, but pff, I can't live with 70%, okay? Like, I'm sorry. Uh, like, I can't do something just 70%. I ain't no C student. I got a 3.86 GPA for the quarter. No. <laughs> we can't. We just just can't um, be uh, having a C rule. So we're doing the B rule, which is 85%. If it, because after 85%, some of this stuff isn't actually noticeable for the common viewer. Now, for us as content creators, we see it and we're just like, oh my god. But for the common viewer, they're not going to see that. And it's just like, just us being nitpicky for no reason. So, well, why would we be nitpicky and make things like, I guess, not worse because we're making what we're the 80 the other 15 percent is this just added extra stuff that really doesn't matter in the long run but it's just extra flarative stuff and if we have time for the flarative stuff do we want to put that in there of course because i have a new series that's going to be coming out in i was about to say in april but then i realized it's no it's not coming out in april there's no way in may or june that is going to be insane um, and that I'm working with a whole bunch of different people on, um, and well, to, I'm, I'm the only one commentating, but I'm working with a whole bunch of people to figure out what I can do with it. Um, and it's going to be really fun and I'm going to enjoy it a lot. Um, cause I actually am making the art for this series. I like, I am taking a step and a liberty in doing something I've never really done. I've never done before. Um, like, and what I mean by never done before, yes, I've made my own layouts, I've made my own stuff like that, but, like, I use text craft. Like, duh. It's not that hard to use text craft. So, this time, I actually, with, with the help of Jonas this time, we, um, kind of made the way we wanted it to look. I played around with the stuff, made it. Um, so that way, like, it, cause as I, I'm one of those people, like, 
he visually showed me how to do it, and then I messed with him. Um on my own spare time a couple hours later. So that way I could be better, you know, and get better at something because I want to be able to physically do it um, to feel like I'm getting better and improving. Um, that was a mill tank, I believe. And I don't have a fighting type. You know what would have been nice? Freaking him chan But um, so yeah, so I'm one of those people who want to constantly be getting better. And if I don't feel like I'm doing it, it just is like, why am I learning it if I'm not using it or utilizing it? So I just did that. Um, and so we messed around with my newest series. So Jonas is the only one that knows what it is. Um, but he's not going to give you the answers. I highly doubt he would. Uh, <laughs> he might give Joy the answers. That's about it. <laughs> but to be fair, I probably would tell Joy before that happens anyways. Because, you know, again, Joy's amazing. We love her. And if you guys don't go to Joy's link, she's in the comment section. Click on her channel, watch her stuff, because she's amazing and deserves love and support. Anyway, I could go on a tangent and just threaten you guys to watch Joy's channel, but um, yeah, no, I'm sure Joy doesn't want me to do that because, you know, she would be like, what the hell? Um, so we won't do that. We will make sure that Joy feels comfortable. <laughs> because that's the last thing I want is to make her feel uncomfortable. Anyway, continuing on with that. I'm like digging myself a grave here. Um, is that it's just going to be a cool new, new experience for me. And 2021, especially second quarter of 2021, as... Uh, we're getting closer to that. Like I said, we're starting off quarter two of 2021 with a bang. Um, is I want to be able to start learning some things and like improving, right? Because quarter three of 2021 is looking to be a crazy situation for me um, as far as fiscal year on YouTube. Like that's looking to be a fun experience and quarter two is prep for quarter three. Um and obviously but i need to be able to feel like i'm competent in doing what i'm doing in order to feel like feel the validation from quarter three being optimal or correct because if i feel like i'm not good enough to reach the standards of success and then i end up somehow reaching the standards of success i'll feel like it's invalid and i just that's not good um Victory Bell is not a bad encounter. This, literally, we've had so many good encounters. Like, it's very odd to me how many good encounters we've had. Shuckalina. I, dude, Shuckalina, you are amazing. <laughs> um, again, you're, you're, you're going to be our catching Pokemon Pokemon. There's always that one Pokemon in the Nuzlocke that's dedicated to catching Pokemon. That's Shuckalina, okay? We, like, I'm sure we all know this. Game Boy Luke, nope, that didn't work. Um, I'm sure we all know, if you've played a Nuzlocke, you've experienced that Pokemon for catching Pokemon. Um, and, like, if it get if Shuckalina gets, like, paralysis or sleep, it would literally be the end. Speaking of sleep. <laughs> um, but it would literally just, we'd be catching everything. Um... But, yeah, so anyway, I just want to be able to feel like I can do some things professionally and do things right uh, in, 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 in an amazing way, figure out things, mess with the programs that I have um, that allow me to do what I do, um, and just become in, in, not in, intuitive is kind of a word that works here, but um, just be inquisitively thinking about all of the other things that I could be doing and doing things better while maintaining school and work um which is not easy but we're doing it and I just I'm proud of that yeah I cut streams down significantly to do these videos in the saga lock instead because this it takes way less time to do saga lock than it would a two-hour stream and it just makes sense um to allocate time to school and do everything else and just prioritize things um but i just like i said i enjoy the series it's what been one of my favorite series is there it is <laughs> um and we're literally naming you this just so i can punish myself every time i see you 
I'm spelling it wrong on purpose, too. Ceres is the, like, I'm literally doing that to punish myself. Surprise, it's John. Um, but anyway, so basically, long story short, I'm so excited for the new adventures and stuff that we're going to be partaking in because we're just going to get better. And it's just going to be amazing to see the, what is a polka dot bow? What? I've never seen that item ever. <laughs> Or what? Um, huh? <laughs> I legit don't know what that is. I have never seen it. Oh, um, sorry. I, I'm using speed up a little bit more than I would like to, and I apologize for that. What is a polka dot bow? My guess is literally a polka dot bow. Wait, what? Is that like the silk scarf, but in Gen 2? I think this is the Gen 2 Silk Scarf. That's a thing. This has been a thing in po What? <laughs> That's the title of the episode. <laughs> what the heck? Well, B's going to have it. Uh, which means I really need to train up B a lot more than I have been. B is literally just out here being sad. Because I've been a bad, like, parent to her. Which, I mean, I need to train up Aaron, too. Like, there's a couple mons in, on this team that I really just need to put some more faith and attention to than I really have. And that's just, you know, my fault for not thinking about that. Hey! 4900 more dollars. Because we need that, for sure. Um... Not going to the excess area. Like I said, this is like, we're speed, we're, we be speed running here. We be, we be speed running. Um, not really, because if we were speed running, it would not take that many episodes to get through Johto, and I would not be claiming all these items that are actually near. That's another, that's more big money, you know? We got some money in here, and at least that's one positive that we can take out of this, is we got a lot of money in the cave, which means that this is gonna help our Nuzlocke tremendous, or um, immensely, not tremendously, immensely. And we don't mind that. If it helps, it helps. That's, that's, the at the end of the day, if something helps, it helps. Also, is Crunch special? Dark is special because, yes, yes it is. Uh, Crunch is special because Umbreon exists. Because all, all the evolutions are special, plus dragon um, is also special. So, that's how you remember it. All the evolutions plus dragon. Um, and if you remember, oh my freaking word, why do you move so sporadically? Yeah, the, uh, so no wonder why Aaron ran into this dude in the gold and silver cage log. Um, <laughs> I didn't realize how sporadic he was why how did i not notice it also i know you're a high level but like jeez. okay um we have crunch i don't want to use sunny day oh my gosh you you have scratches your best move okay uh we should be able to take it out if scratch is its best move uh, oh my gosh maybe not how much does flamethrower do flamethrower might actually do more even if it's resisted oh i didn't mean that much more Oh no, okay. Well, Tarot, I'm gonna need you. This is why I feel like Tarot is like a prime candidate to die though, because Tarot just kind of gets sent in willy nilly when we need him. And even though things do a ton of damage, that did like, I feel like more than 20, so I'm gonna have to heal up all the way. Oh wait, we got a fresh water, we got a fresh water. Let's use the fresh water, not the energy powder. I mean, I guess they're both 50, but still. Um, oh, you just you scratched again. Okay, we're fine. I think we're faster and we can just psychic this thing now. Um, but we just had to play it safe, okay? Just let, let us play it safe. Playing it safe is never a bad thing if you think you're in danger. Um, but yeah, so we have, oh, well, there's still one more, uh, Sandshrew, but Sandshrew's easy, that's Barry. Um, that's just prime target for Barry to kill, and yeah, so, 
Mew is kind of our get us out of a scary situation Pokemon. And it's just, that's what it is. I click, I meant to, okay. Well, it benefited us, but still. I meant to do that so I can move that to the front because Toronto taught us that and we just never used it in Gen 1. Like, we should have. And so, yeah, so I need to start doing that so that I can just run through things quicker because, you know, that's less keystrokes that I have to make. And then I just press A and it's fine. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get our encounter in the slowpoke. We're gonna get our slowpoke and our um other thing. Not I don't remember what it is. I'm like slowpoke and uh if brain would work. Oh, we can actually get Elix Forest too. Actually. Before I act activate the event on accident, let's go to the Mart. See what we can buy. If we can buy Great Balls now, that'd be amazing. Uh, we cannot. Can we actually not even buy Pokeballs here? No, there it is. It's just there's a charcoal option up top, so it confused the crap out of me. Uh, I'm gonna get 10 Pokeballs. We can buy Super Potions, though, so let's max those out. So, because Super Potions are going to be imperative to our success. Um, and we are going to go ahead and heal and get our three encounters that we can get. Uh, I think that would be a perfect kind of ending to this episode because why not make it a longer episode? Um, <laughs> just why not? There's no reason not to. Um, and might as well do it before we activate the event because once we activate the Slowpoke Well event, then this fight is a thing and so we don't want that fight to be a thing yet <sighs> do we have Shuckalina in front no we don't we have megan in front we not we need Shuckalina in front i don't necessarily know what i want i mean a legendary would be cool but um oh togetic i don't really mind that other than it will probably never make its way to the team so i'm gonna angel power if it dies it dies if it doesn't it doesn't it shouldn't die it's shuckalina let's go shuckalina i love you shuckalina you are such a god and everybody should treat you with respect because you're shuckalina you kill you don't kill things and you just make sure that everything lives because you're the nicest thing i've ever seen shuckalina like <laughs> <laughs> you actually might die quicker too. I'm naming you Ludwig because honestly, you're just the Lud. And I've been watching Among Us videos lately, so you know <laughs> that's where I got the name, obviously. Um, now we're gonna get a Route Seven, and then actually, let's go ahead and talk to Kurt now. And then after we talk to Kurt, we can get the two encounters. We'll be solid and we'll end the episode right in the middle of the slowpoke. Well, where everyone else ends their episodes because that makes total sense. Um, Cause why not end it in the same spot everyone else does? Um, our encounter on route seven is a slugma. Honestly, don't see Mega dying. I almost, I mean, it, it should be an easy capture. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, let's go ahead and... No, oh. Oh, 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 I thought I used it. I thought I used the park ball on accident on a slugma. If yeah, I thought I used the park ball on a slugma, I would have been so upset. Anyway, slugma is such an easy capture that I figure might as well catch it. And I'll name it... You gotta name it Nexus. Like, you just do. It's his mascot, after all. Um, And then we go ahead and go to Slipbook. Well, that was actually... We're totally fine time-wise. We're under the 30-minute mark that I want to be under. 
And, well, I shouldn't say that because this can count. Well, no, even if this counter is crazy, we have the park ball. It's basically a master ball um, in theory. And that's an easy mod to catch too. And I love it. It's Sparky Sparks. It's a Sparky Sparks. Oh my God, y'all. It's freaking Sparks. We freaking have him. And Sparks can now, um, you know, be a lovely soul. And we can post this in his comment thing and be a butt. No, we're not going to be a butt. We never be a butt. But we caught the Mareep too. Dang, both really fast captures. I do not mind having these fast captures because it just makes it just so much better. Anyway, Sparks, thanks for joining the team. Don't know when you evolve, but... You know what? I actually have to put the XV in front of it. X, V, is that an underscore or not an underscore? It's not, but it will work because there's no underscore. It doesn't exist. S, P, A, R, K, S. X, V, Sparks, end. We got sparks. We got a lot of things, actually, that I was not expecting. I'm going to go ahead and save. Hopefully, you have a wonderful, random, full, wonderful day. Remember, the next episode is a kill episode. Also, remember, we're fighting Bugsy in the next episode. So, make sure you let us know who you think Bugsy is going to have in the Discord or the comment section. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I love you all. Peace.